and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Deep Sea Monsters. We have a donation deck to play some Deep Sea Monsters. That's what the two Ds mean over here. So this, this specific list that we're going to be playing was a viewer submitted list and it has some different card choices. So we've got a little bit of a unique list here. It looks pretty interesting. The, the first thing, so you know, kind of going going through here, some things that kind of pop out right away is we have uh, three copies of Jettison. We're really trying to um, get that uh, toss in for our Maokais. And looking at our four mana slot, um, you know, we have two Salvages and we have two Spray Fins. And so it's like, okay, well, if we're going Spray Fins with the Sea Monsters, then we're probably playing Lure the Depths, right? Like that, that's probably what we're trying to do is go Spray Fin, Lure the Depths combo. But going back to looking, all right, what are all the things that Sprayfin can hit? All right, looking down, we got Jettison and Mist Call. Ooh, that's a spicy one. Um, okay, yeah, I can fix the camera. My bad. It lags sometimes. There we go. Should be good now. Um, so yeah, so Mist Call. Uh, so we're gonna be using yeah using uh, our spray fins to put this into our hand to be able to revive our allies that have died this round. So even using that on a one drop, usually we wouldn't want to use it on a one drop, but even using it on the one drop, we can get a toss three going. Uh, but the same thing with the Wanderer. But then obviously like, you know, our, our top end cards. Now Devour is a play trigger, unfortunately, not a summon trigger, so it won't come back in. Uh, but yeah, we can, you know, if they kill our Nautilus, we can bring it back. If they kill Maokai, we can bring it back. Um, stuff like that, Abyssal Eye, I suppose. So that, that's different. That's that's something I haven't tried um, at all yet. So there we go. So like, let's go ahead and give this a try. So we're gonna go play five games over in ranked as we always do with this uh, Deep Sea Monsters deck. Uh, if you, So this is a donation deck. If you wanna see your deck played on stream, it's just a $10 donation and I will uh, play through five games of Masters rank, you know, talk about the deck afterwards and uh, and of course post it on YouTube later as well. So it'll be up there. Also, for those of y'all that like watching on YouTube. All right, Twisted Fizz. Grasp is gone. Do I mulligan salvage? I think so. I don't think we need it in our opener. It's not something that I think that we need to prioritize for our turn for being uh, draw two. Yeah, Lucian deck. Um, I can go find the Lucian deck for you. I just closed it out. I shouldn't have done that. Here you go. Just gotta scroll down. Here it is. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Oh boy, here I go. Chat. Chat's got, got my back. Hey, Regis. All right. So no turn two play. We got turn three. Jaw hunters. I suppose challenge and fizz. That's Harvey. Harvey. She's just clawing up the carpet. Yeah, I do have the Withering Whale also. Fell into him. But I don't really necessarily want to cast Withering Whale next turn, so we'll just trade. There's that list. Um, it will be up in five hours from now. It will be up on the YouTube channel also. It basically, whoops, exactly five hours. That's whenever the Lucian Fury deck will, will go up. That deck's really good. It is. Um, definitely a very good rank up deck. Quick games, decisive, and Sejuani is my pick for the best champion in the game. This is kind of a cool combo too, right? Like, Sprayfin draws you Mist Call, they kill your Sprayfin, you Mist Call it back, it draws you another Mist Call, <laughs> you know, like, and it and it gets you, like, the Attune again. This is kind of a cool combo. 
Ooh, not gold carding. They need that extra card. And Jaw Hunters is a summon, so Jaw Hunters works great with Miss Call. So where are we at? We're at. Hmm. Nothing to a four four. Twenty-eight cards left and only five for Maokai so far. I'm gonna let them play something else first before I jaw hunters. I wish I had the mana. We were what? We were one short of being able to play Jaw Hunters and then let it die and then double mist call it. That would have been really nice. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. So I played I played this first to see if they would like maybe tap out or you know start playing some other stuff. I need lure the dubs. We have too many sea monsters in hand now. Yeah, we were one mana off Withering Will, so that got punished for playing the Dreg Dredgers. Sea monsters. I'm gonna play this thorny toad. I'm just gonna save the mana for some spell mana. Alright, let's get some treasures in here. It's cool, that's a summon trigger. It's good for Miss Call. Brayfin. That's just fine. Nice, Rand. Your four overs deep with uh, Ash Sejuani. Very good. So we're at 19 cards left. I feel like that deserves a vengeance. They've put a lot of effort into that that card. Spin, 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 you win. Spin, 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 you win. Three away from deep.
have generated a lot of value with like this Jaw Hunter's missed call combo. be a large slot bot. So that's 10 cards. All right, Thorny Toad, you can go and play, I guess. You could definitely use some lure of the depths to make these things cheaper, but I guess if we just find a Nautilus, that will make things cheaper. It's kind of surprising we haven't drawn a single champion yet, even with all this tossing and stuff. Like, we haven't drawn any Maokais or Nautiluses. It's kind of weird. Both Deep and Viheimer are, are definitely good options. I'm not sure which one's necessarily better right now. I mean, I think it I think it depends on playstyle, honestly. For myself, I would I'd be more comfortable playing Deep deck than Viheimerdinger. But other people really like Viheimerdinger, so I I think it depends on the person. Playstyle. Want to know? Deep mirror match. I think you jettison in the mirror match. We're probably going to be trying to level up Maokai as fast as possible, right? Try to obliterate their deck. Dreg Dredgers is, is awesome. It's definitely a card I wanted a whole lot. Because that's that's just basically jettison with a 2-1 attached. Yeah, that's his. Alright, not the best start. Not the best start for us. Next turn, I can have like Jaw Hunters, and I can miscall it, bring it back, create a couple of sea monsters for our hand. Hey, Adam, yeah. Games are going great. And a good day. Could also not play that, and like whenever I play Maokai next turn, I have the Miss Call backup. It's just not that likely that they will have something that kills Maokai, right? Like, I think the Maokai is safe. Um, there's 
again, this isn't my deck. Again, this is a donation deck. This is a viewer submitted deck. Um, but in here, I think there are two Withering Whales and two... Yes, two Withering Whale, two Grass of the Undying. Does seem like our deck's like pretty clunky. It's like so many expensive cards. <laughs> I wish, wish our cards were cheaper. Joker the Dreg, Dreg Dredger, so it's a one drop. So I want to draw Jettison. Darn, miss call. So right now I just want to uh, dig as fast as possible. Yeah, they're <clears throat> they are already deep. Deep Nautilus. I mean, I guess I could get deep. What we need eight cards. I guess I could play Salvage and Jettison, and that gets us deep. I'm playing that. I'm going to play the 1 4 to block it. This one four is just taking up space. We're at twenty. Ugh. 
Can't really just... I can't play Nautilus. Did it freeze? Looks like the game froze. Um... Kind of froze. Was that Alt F4? Okay, there we go. So we're at 14 out of 25 for Maokai. Long ways away. We'll carb through that gullet. Hmm. Yeah, I can't stop that. up Nautilus and play. I need to cast Jettison first. Get extra three damage in. Alright, so now Maokai. Stop. I can just make these things six sixes. Those are seven sevens. Give them room to I am the forest. So we'll have round start, summon a sapling. Another blocker. There, the reason why they were doing that is because because that that thing blocks Nautilus. I don't have anything else that blocks Nautilus. Like that's why they were. Um, that's why they were doing that, not Maokai. Like, if, if they have Atrocity also, I'm going to be losing. But yeah, yeah, Triple Devour the same turn. That really hurts. There are one mana Devourers. One mana 7-7s seven sevens that obliterate your best thing. That hurts. Yeah, we're dead to atrocity. I can't do anything about that.
All right, so I think my best chance is hitting them for six, putting them down to four, and top decking my atrocity. Let's have another one of these. Why does it say Nautilus created this card? How does Nautilus create cards? Nautilus created this card? Oh, I guess put it back in their deck, maybe. Okay, it got tossed and yeah, Nautilus brought it back. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. See, our deck's kind of slow, expensive, but we didn't we didn't get deep fast enough. Like they got deep a lot faster and got to play a, a deep Nautilus and had the lure of the depths to make their things cost less. Also, um, while we were sitting with. Miss Calls and Jaw Hunters. Miss Call seems great value wise, but not great at um, doing the best thing that you need to. Yuck. Yeah, got a lot of viewers in here today. Welcome everybody. If you're kind of newer to the channel, this is what I do every day. I stream Runeterra and put up the videos up on YouTube as well. Uh, here's a link to the YouTube. The YouTube is just simply youtube.com slash hawktie. And then when we're on Twitch, it's YouTube. Or it's our twitch.tv slash uh, hawktie live. And, uh, yeah, so I do this every day. Um, basically, every other day, I'm either streaming morning or evening. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Sunday, I'm in the morning like this. Um, starting the stream basically two and a half hours ago at 11 a.m. Eastern. And then the other days, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I stream in the evening. I start at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time. I'm just gonna get this attack in right now instead of like playing Wanderer first and then they play Vi. And then I have like no attacks. Just get that damage across. Here comes the punch line. Here comes the punchline. Hit him where it's trouble coming at ya. Ow. That was a little risky. I like just using the miss call, bringing that back and tossing three more, getting us closer to deep. And then I'll use the grass, the undying to kill this, but wanted to do this first, see what they do with their mana. It's a good miss call. Six away from deep. Get back here. I think I'm just gonna play Nautilus this next turn. Like if I don't draw, like yeah, I'll just play it in O12 Nautilus, I suppose. Okay, or we could draw hunters. Just 
play Nautilus. Just get it out of my hand. Spend spend the mana. I'm doing this my way. And if they want to like challenge Nautilus and pump up Vi a whole bunch and everything like that, we'll just use the Riptide. <clears throat> we can pull the Riptide. Got the backup. Do I cast this? Let's see, if I cast it, I go further away from deep. Or do I want to hold on to it as a Nautilus? Yeah, we'll let it happen. Danger pays. Good. That was the sea monster I wanted to hit. Didn't get to play it though. Obviously, I don't really want to see Ledros right now. This is just such an awkward hand. Toss in this deck. You need to get to deep faster. There we go. About time, salvage. expect this to work but we'll force them to have something I don't expect it to work I'm mostly trying to set up um, you know set up the same play the next turn with Nautilus Devour and hoping that that one works and just playing a, a big blocker because I'll I'll block the um, I'll block the Ledros with the 5-6 Never mind. Guess we're blocking with the seven six.
Sure hope it works this time. Okay. That card's out of there. And I'll have 10 mana, so I'll be able to gain 6 life with these two spells um, next turn. Forward. Forward. That doesn't seem like a very good block, right? Now they don't have like that spider to block my 7-6 next turn if they want to. Like if it comes to that. So they're out of Karina. Or well, I guess they're not out, because I probably should just rip hide this. Oh yeah, yeah, the thorny toad's a brick on the board all the time. Yeah, it gets ignored frequently. Yeah, it's, it's not necessarily the best card. This game's not over. They have Mystic Shot Vengeance. But okay, that should be over. It's not a vengeance. I didn't want to play those little two ones and eliminate the rest of my deck. All right, we got there. Two and one. Just lost the mirror match. That was our one loss so far with the deep sea monsters. GG's. Okay, so Twisted Fate with Ionia. Going to be lots of card draw, lots of little tricks. Um, okay, I like... Obviously, I like the one drop. Um, salvage has looked good. I actually think that I should probably be keeping Salvage. And I like Maokai. Grasp does kill kill a lot of their stuff. You know, Black Market Merchant, Twisted Fate, um, Eye of the Dragon, Shadow Assassin. Kind of kills everything. But I'm looking at it. It doesn't trade profitably with any of those things, mana-wise. Yeah, the Lucian Fury deck is, is aggro. It's uh, a Demacia-based deck. Yeah, that one will be in, on YouTube a little over four hours from now. Four hours and 18 minutes. I'll be up there. It's really good. I've, I've played it three times. I think... And somebody in, in chat was saying, I think I think we're 14 and one total with that deck. I think the other two videos we went 5-0 and 4-1 with that deck. Spin, spin, spin. You win. You win. Slotbot's not the best for this matchup, with me just being able to, um, you know, it's just a big thing that, that you can jump block with Thorny Toad. Oh. 
All right, so that Jaw Hunters was awesome. It did it did take out a slot bot, so that's great. And it gave me an Abyssal Eye to be able to play for this turn. I think. Oh no, actually, never mind. It gave me the Shipwreck Order. Never mind. I can pretend like it was the Jaw Hunters though. No, Lucian Ephemerals and Lucian Fury are different decks. Lucian Fury is, uh, is like Demacia base, Flashing, Freljord for Sejuani, the best champion, and Fury of the North. That's where the Fury comes from, Fury of the North. And Omenhawk and Babbling Bjerg. Okay, so we are 10 away. So I can, I can go deep going Salvage, Jettison, Jettison. We can go deep. Um, which I guess that's my play. I don't really have anything else to do. I wish I had something to play for this Maokai. To get the challenger. You cannot escape. So I'll let them think that this Abyssal Eye is vulnerable. Yeah, that could affect their decision. All right, Maokai is at 17 out of 25. This is, this is a good Maokai level up matchup because they do re require a lot of cards. So now 18. I need another one of those Jettisons. Oh, seven more. Yeah, Dead Bloom works. Gotta worry about milling out. Success gets you noticed around here. Protect our growth. <laughs> Oh, right. I forgot about the Maokai trigger for tossing that two. So, yeah, now we can just go salvage, toss the other two, and level up Maokai. That will leave me with basically nothing left in the deck. Life, life eternal. But that's, that's what we gotta do. Unfortunately, that's going to... Now they're going to be deep. So that changes the Devourer math. But they got four cards to kill me. I think we got this. We'll see. Hey, Swim Slave. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so if they they're attacking now on my turn, they draw cards. They're down to three. Then they get to attack while they're down down to two. Then on mine, they're down to one. And then, and then down to zero, but drawing their last card attack. So they do get, if nothing happens, if they don't shuffle more things back, they do get three attacks, this being the first of the three attacks. Spin, spin, spin. You win. 
You win. What a surprise, more Nautilus. All right, we only have one card in our deck right now. So there's good and bad things about this. Now we're up to seven cards, but now their things like Black Market Merchant and everything like that are kind of turned on. Like pilfered goods, that kind of stuff. I just need a... Well, I guess... Okay, so I guess Nautilus being in play and then me casting Riptides, I was thinking that that would be good because I would shuffle Nautilus back in my deck, but I guess it shuffles their stuff back in, into their deck also. So I guess that's kind of bad for me. Searching for some winners. All right, we have all of our champions... So the last six cards are all sea monsters. know that if you steal a treasure, the game shuffles a shipwreck hoarder into your deck? I did not know that. Seems weird. My block's wrong. I forgot the two life here. If I blocked this thing, I would have gained one more life, basically. I could be at 17 instead of 16. With you shadow owls types before. They are nothing like me. Danger pay. So they get one more attack step before they mill out. Sure hope they're out of Will of Ionia. Hey, Rio, what's up? Thanks for joining in on the stream. Yeah, sure hope. Sure hope they're out of Will of Ionia. We know they have a sea monster in hand. We don't know which which one. Swiftfoot? That's not a card I was expecting. Optimal outcome achieved. That's not a card I was expecting. But nope, so they were not out of Will of Ionia. In fact, they had two more Will of Ionias in hand. Coming up with a 6-5. Last card. Last card. We just had one. You know, one like Grass of the Undying or one Withering Whale. Either one of those would have saved me that game. But we did not. Yeah, the double will swift foot. That was perfect. Nautilus costs too much mana compared to those. Oh well. Fun game.
think we mulligan beast below also. Like, Nautilus is definitely gone. I think we mulligan beast below. Is Jettison bad in this matchup? Maybe it is. Maybe I don't need Jettison. Basically, what I'm thinking is... What I'm thinking is that if I if I level up Maokai... Like, basically, the, basically I'm thinking that the level up Maokai isn't very necessary. Um, because they can still have infinite cards. They, they would have to have two Karmas, you know, like, and have a Karma in play and then use the Karma spell. They can still have infinite cards and just keep putting Karmas back. It does force them to have that. And so basically I wanted all my cards doing something. Like where Jettison doesn't, you know, Jettison's not like a card they have to trade with. Danger pays. I don't know, yeah, I mean I definitely could have been could be wrong by mulliganing Jettison. That was my thinking. Bit of a different list there with the clump of lumps. Okay, so let's play another ally each round. It is a play trigger. Not a summon. another Maokai. I can let this one die. Thought about, you know, waiting, you know, like maybe even blocking and then bring him back, but yeah, we got this combo. Use Miss Call, put back in Sprayfin, Sprayfin gets Miss Call. It's a nice little combo. Nice little combo. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. This Ezreal Karma deck used to be top tier before um, the Rising Tides expansion. It was um, probably the most popular and best deck at the time. I think it's gotten worse since Rising Tides come out, but it's still still a fairly uh, popular deck.
More things dying. All right, really hope we don't get the two one. We got only a we have a seventy five percent chance to get something else. All right, that's fine. Sorry. Hmm. So we'll have leveled up Nautilus next turn with one extra mana to spend. So yeah, like we'll we'll be deep this next turn. Basically, right now, I can play... Um, I'm gonna play the Beast below. I don't have any one mana... Um, ...ones to play. Yone is the... Yone is, like, the worst card for me to see. I mean, I guess, like, Will of Ionia wouldn't be great either. That one's fine. Mystic shot gone. So twenty one out of twenty five for Maokai. Route. I, I so I kind of wanted to be cute and like Riptide um, one of these, put it back into the deck, and then play a leveled up Maokai and then obliterate it. That that would like require all nine of this mana, and then I wouldn't be able to do anything else. All right, so they just put two Karmas into their deck, so we can just go obliterate both Karmas. Yeah, we had that one. All right, three and two. GG's. All right, so we went three and two. We did lose a mirror and just one other game. Um, this deep stuff's pretty good. Like the uh, Jaw Hunters definitely looked really nice. Um, did wish we had like something else 
early, like some other like two mana card. Um, we kind of had too much, too much top end. It felt like, um, I don't know. It's just like our removal spells being like grasp, withering whale. They're just they're just pretty expensive. You do need to have like your sea monsters in your deck because you need Nautilus to you need to toss sea monsters and have Nautilus put put uh, sea monsters back uh, with the level up. Um, oh, I guess. Oh, it just it, okay. So it puts tossed allies that cost four plus into the deck, not just sea monsters into the deck. Right. So okay. So it put it does put Zap's Brayfin back into the deck. That's cool. That's cool. No, we never drew Atrocity. Or, I guess, I think we drew Vengeance, maybe. But no, we never drew Atrocity, as far as I remember. The missed call was, interest <clears throat> was interesting, and I liked it. But I did wish that we had Lure of the Depths to make things cost cheaper. I think that maybe instead of just three miss call and zero lure the depths, maybe a combination. You know, like probably the first, like pl probably just playing one lure the depths because you don't you don't need a ton of lure the depths. But probably playing the first one is better than the third miss call, just to have access to that. But honestly, that like that's a really cool combination: missed call plus zap sprayfin. That's a cool combination that I haven't really considered before. Um, that, that was a... Th yeah. I liked that. Um, yeah, that, that was that was just... Because, you know, like you... Uh, you know, you get to a tune, and then that, like, helps pay for your miss calls. Your miss call only costs two mana, basically. And then whenever you miss call back your spray fin, you attune again. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, you prefer one Thresh with the two Maokais? I'd be happy with that too. I, I don't have like a, a as much experience playing the deep decks as a lot of y'all because I, I, I do play just at such a wide variety of decks. But whenever I do play the deep deck, I always do want a Maokai. And yeah, like I always do want Maokai. Yeah, then, yeah, so uh, Sprayfin can also grab a Lure as well. Yeah, so that, like, that, was, that was pretty interesting tech here with Miscall. I've never never played that before, but I liked it. All right, so there we go. That's Deep Sea Monsters. Uh, that was a pretty fun donation deck there. Those of y'all watching this video later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of like that missed call attack and other stuff like that. You know, leave those comments. I always like seeing them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, some Deep Sea Monsters though, and I'll see you for the next video.